I'm going to show you how to set up the DeLorean car. Actually, two different versions of it because I just made a version that uses an improved method of steering and throttle that actually is harder to use than the other one, but you have way more control over it. Anyway, so we're going to start with the normal one. This one, we're going to position it a little bit in the air. We're going to print it like that, and then we're going to get out a ship helm, put it up here, assemble it. Let me get rid of the items. We can get rid of this. Now we're going to get a suspension controller. This block, and then you're going to want to power it with something. You can use a hand crank. It works pretty okay. And we're going to drop the suspension down. While we're doing that, we're going to get out the track toolkit, raise the suspension stiffness to three. Now we don't need that anymore. Actually, we might need to move these wheels. Uh, no, never mind. They're in, the, they're in the right spot. That's good. So we just let this drop down. We can speed it up a little bit. We'll drop the suspension. So right there. So right when the wheel starts to hit the uh, the top part a little bit. So that's that done. Now, now we're going to go under the car. Take a look at the engine. So the engine has gas in it and it has uh, the back of it's clogged with carbon. So there, we just break and replace that and we reset that. Here, I'm just going to change this to gasoline because I already have an external gasoline transmitter input. So now gasoline's back in here. So the engine is good to go. So it's actually uh, drivable now. Let me get out a controller. So you're going to configure the controller like this. I will include a screenshot of it with the file. And so that left shift is to uh, use a brake. So like, let's do this. Hold down left shift. That'll break the car. If we hold down S, we'll go into reverse, and then you can use A and D to steer. You don't have to do anything to go forward as long as the engine is on and the uh, resistor has been depowered a little bit. And we can just back up like that. Um, let's stop this. And to get these to work, you're probably gonna have to break and replace them possibly twice, multiple times, and then you're gonna have to do magenta die. You're gonna have to do this quite a few times. It likes to reset and it gets glitchy sometimes, so that's annoying, but there you can get the right tail lights. Um, and that's how you set up this car. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the other one with the more advanced controller system. Both of these are included, so you can choose which one you want. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna print this, gonna get out the ship helm and uh, it's mostly mostly going to be the same thing once you've done that you can get rid of this block here that backup block and then we can get out the suspension controller again we'll do this we'll start dropping the suspension down we'll change the stiffness to three get that dropped perfect actually that might be one too much We'll raise it up one time. We'll break and replace this. Let's go under here, inspect the engine. Uh, the back of it's empty, that has gas. So that means it's, it's good to go. All we're gonna need to do is flick this lever and we'll start the engine like that. And if you have a new tweet controller, you're gonna want to set the plus Y at the bottom here to have yellow wool. That's for the throttle. Um, and then the rest of the controls you can get just by coming under here. This is a tweet controller hub. Just click this to link it. And then once you've done that, you're good to go. So there's no controls in here other than one flip for the engine. So what you can do now, let me just not, let me get out here. Let's open this up. You're going to hold down left alt or whatever button it is to activate the mouse detected joystick. If we move it forward, nothing will happen we move it from side to side you'll see that I can turn the wheels and it's gradual it's not just all or nothing and as you move it back eventually you'll start moving the car forward see just a little bit you can turn the car that way then you can do uh, you can hold down shift to go into reverse of course we can stop it the brake you don't have a brake you just have to move the joystick forward the more you move it down, the faster you'll go, and the farther you move it from side to side, the uh, the more the car is going to turn. So, like, if we move it all the way down, it's going to go really fast. 
So the only issue with this is uh, when you're in the car, steering it this way disables free look. So like, let's say you, uh, let's say you are, I don't know, right here. You open this up, you start holding down left alt, you no longer have free look because your, your mouse is completely driving the car. So now all you're doing is manipulating the mouse to do it. So you are locked in to this view. That's um, one thing to note with it, which is a little bit annoying. So maybe it's not for everybody, but if you want to use this, you can. It requires a little bit of practice, but you definitely have more control over the car than you would otherwise. And if you want to turn the car off, all you have to do is flick that lever and it will turn it off. And with this one, all you have to do to turn it off is flick that lever. And that's how you set up both of these cars. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask and happy building.